North Carolina's nine game winning streak didn't impress the pack one bit. State electrifies a sold out PNC arena, running out to an 11 point first half lead at one point. BJ Anya gives the pack a huge lift off the bench, and TJ Warren begins to heat up. The Tar Heels find themselves down by eight at the break. We know we have the mentality of, you know, we're going to come out and, and, and try to hit him first like we, you know, we've been playing, we've been doing. And most of the hitting is done by guard Marcus Page. Page is sensational in the second half, scoring 31 of his career high, 35 points after the intermission. But whatever you can do, I can do too, says Warren. The ACC's leading scorer does Page one better. Warren with a career high 36 points, including two free throws to send the game to overtime. 40 minutes is not enough for this game. It was a lot of fun over there playing. Um, he made some clutch threes at the end. I think he had about seven threes. It was a lot of fun. Warren and Page continue their personal battle in overtime until Page decides to end it. His driving basket with less than five seconds is the difference. 85-84 Tar Heels in an instant classic. At the way the game was going, that the ball needed to be in my hands, uh, whether I was going to shoot it myself or try to make something happen. And once I saw a window, you know, it was the rest is history. I thought we'd just given one away, and then all of a sudden at the end, I feel like we've stolen one. So it's college basketball. Just a tough one. Tough one to, to walk out of here tonight. Even tougher knowing the loss may have ended any hope the pack had of reaching the NCAA tournament. In Raleigh, Todd Gibson, WNCN Sports. <laughs> <laughs>